All right, we'll start with Owen. Hi, Kevin. Um, congratulations on the win today. Um, you've beaten Roger Federer at Wimbledon in 2018, and you made the final that year. Uh, no one else in the straw has done either of those things. Is How big a source of confidence for you is that when you play? I mean, obviously, that was a, uh, you know, a great match for me, but you know, honestly, it gives me the... I guess it gives me the confidence of knowing what, you know, the tennis I can play and, um, you know, what I'm capable of doing, which, I mean, that's one result, but I think I can draw on many. But, I mean, that was three years ago as well, so obviously there's a whole lot of different set of circumstances. Um, I'm working my way forward each and every day right now. Um, as I said, I can draw on that experience, but, you know, other than that, it's really about um, having belief in, you know, what I'm doing right now, uh, the process I'm on right now, um, and that's what I need to focus on. And, um, you hit 16 aces today, and you didn't lose your serve. Uh, you also broke serve twice. On grass, what do you think is the most important part of your game that's working well, uh, serve or return? Obviously, you have to take care of your serve games. Um, for me, that's you know the primary focus. And then try try create as many opportunities um, on the returns as possible, especially on the grass. Um, you know, even you know out here, and sometimes if the grass is just even a little bit um, damp at all, returning can be very challenging so you have to be very patient on that you know, standpoint there's going to be games where you're not really going to have a chance so it's really important to separate the serves and returns um i mean i think that's across all surfaces sometimes it's just a little bit tough on the grass because if somebody's hitting their spots well it can be pretty tough to get it back thanks and um going back to 2018 you won 48 matches that year it was incredible you made it all the way up to world number five um, but that also included uh, back-to-back marathons against Federer and Isner. And I was wondering, how long did it take to fully recover physically from that year as a whole? I mean, mentally and emotionally, uh, I felt pretty good. I went into 2019 and won the, you know, the 250 in Pune. And going into Australia, I felt good and just you know, unfortunately picked up a uh, pretty bad case of you know elbow tendinopathy and sort of lingered and made life very challenging me for a number of months now. I mean, I'm sure the amount of tennis I played uh, probably uh, affected that. I mean, it's impossible to say though, but um, in terms of, you know, how I felt leaving the year, you know, I felt pretty good. Um, obviously it was tough for me not to be able to continue that uh, momentum and, you know, how hard I'd worked to sort of miss tournament after tournament was, uh, was difficult, um, but it's always a little bit challenging to say exactly. Thanks, and good luck in the next round. Thank you. All right, thanks, Kevin. That's all. Thank you.